Thank you for calling the Fairmont Chicago Millennium Park. Lynetta speaking. How may I assist you? Oh, no. That's not good. My phone's acting nutty. Um, I had dropped it in the toilet earlier. I'm so sorry. That's not why I called you. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I hear you fine. Well, it's all blown out and clicking. I wasn't prepared for this. This is terrible. Jesus fucking It's Christ. clicking on your end, but not mine. I oh, my fine. God. Oh, this is bad news, man. <laughs> this is bad news. Anyway, um, I was wondering. I know that it's, like, a, against the law and a bad idea and nothing that I would want to do to, like, cause any type of a panic or anything just by acting uh-huh. silly or crazy or whatever. Um, but is it okay if I, like, just panic by myself, like, in my room? Is that okay? Yes. You, you can panic, but you can, yeah. <sighs> it's gonna be okay, though. Your, your phone... Well, no, it, no, it sounds like it's a frequency mismatch, but I don't know how that could be a goddamn thing. I just said everything, like, ten minutes ago. This doesn't make any sense to me. Ma'am? I'm here. Well, the, okay, but it clicks when you're talking, and I wasn't ready. I don't. I I checked my shit before I. Okay, I'm sorry. I really don't mean That's to curse okay. at you. That's I don't mean okay. to curse at you, but I'm starting to panic a little bit. But it's just me. It's and it, well, it has to also to do with the weed a little bit. Oh my god. It was the paranoia. I had just hit it. I just hit it in the bathroom. Yes. Do you know what a gravity bong is? Yes, I do. We were yes. yeah. We were, I was doing whappers. I was doing whappers out of the back of the toilet. Uh-huh. And now the the fear is just starting to set in. Now, I sat down to make this call. I was doing a whapper. I sat down to make the call. Now it's clicking, and the fear is setting in. So I'm starting to panic just as I had planned. But yeah. um, I don't want to cause any trouble. I don't want anyone else to panic. Exactly. I oh, my that. God. It clicks every time. Try to dry it out. Like take a foam and tap, I mean, a towel ah! and tap it on the towel. Maybe the, the water will come out. You know where your speaker, where the speaker is? Yeah, well, it's your, the problem is, the problem is, is that it's urine. Oh, shucks. Yeah. Oh, you you messed it up. Oh, shit, everything's at 48 already. I don't know where the mismatch is. Everything's at 48. This really blows. But it, it really may be okay because on my end, I hear you perfectly. Maybe it's your fault. Maybe it's your fault. There's a small, small chance. It can't be my fault. I didn't drop it. Well, maybe because your phone is worse than mine, maybe. Even if mine's maybe. been in urine, maybe I'm yours is worse. My phone. And then that's that's why it's sounding like this. It's because your phone is stupid and mine, and maybe mine's good. There you go. Right. My phone is stupid. Cause I, well, I tested it. I did test it earlier. Uh-huh. So, all right. But well, you've been so sweet and nice, and thank you to you. So I'll just sit up in my room. I'm gonna. I might do another. I might do another gravity bong out of the. I don't the, think you should yet. No. Well, I want to panic a little. I want to freak out. Like the fear's just set, <laughs> starting to set in, but I really want it to go full blast where I'm like okay, flipping and sweating and stuff. What is your room stuff. number so I can check on you? Uh, like one, two, three, or something. I'm not really sure, 100 percent at this point. Okay. Okay, that's not a room. Well, I don't. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. What is your name? Um, B- 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 Harrison G. Manx Mouse. H- Harrison G. Yeah, G. With just a letter G or G E. Well, that's my middle name. It's my middle initial. I don't even think it stands for anything. I just didn't have one before, so now I do. Okay, your first name. What's your first name? Ha- oh, Harrison. But that's made up. I just gave that to myself as well. What the? You know what? <laughs> I'm not going to put And everything. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just very, I'm a little bit worried about the clicking and I am starting to panic a little bit, but I, I you know, I don't know. Maybe it'll play. I it's won't know. Okay. Well, I it's won't know until next week. Existence. Thank We're you. Speak it into good existence. It's going to be okay. Oh, thank you. That, that means a lot tomorrow. to me. That means a lot to me. Good, good to know. And we didn't even have to drag Jesus into this at all. Right. Just thank you. you. Just welcome. me and you. And maybe some other. Okay, thank you. I love you. Me and you. All right, thank you. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye-bye. Something what thank else you she said. Thank you Hello? for calling Cambria Street. Tell me, I help you. Uh, what do you guys do when someone, like, falls into a bush? Um, we do an incident like, report. No, I mean, like, what do you do for them, though? Like, if they, if you, if I, like, went down in a bush, do I gotta, like, pay anything? Or, like, or do I have to, I'm not sure how this, I've never had this happen before. Oh, uh, let me, let me grab my supervisor one moment. Am I, like, Door. supposed to, like, do Why something? Oh, uh, hey. Yes, 
This is Zilla Kinta from this. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. God damn it, I'm stupid tonight. I'm so stupid. I pressed the <laughs> mute button so you couldn't hear me. No, you're fine. Okay. All right. Thank you. Listen, um, I just wondered, I guess, um, I, every, first of all, everything is fine and great. I'm up in the room, and I'm a happy, happy camper up here. Um, second of all, everything is cool. There is absolutely no danger. But I'm in the mood to kind of, like, freak out a little bit. Like, I know I'm not allowed to cause a public panic and cause the other guests to panic, but am I allowed to panic, like, all to myself in here? What's what's wrong? Well, I just wanted to. What room are you in? Do I have to tell you? Yes. One, two, um, three. There's no one in that room. Well, I know. I know. I was lying. Okay. So, am I allowed? Okay. Like, I know you're not allowed to yell fire in a movie theater. That's silliness. Right. And you don't talk about no, you know, not, nothing. You don't talk about nothing when you're at the airport because they take all of that shit seriously. Right. Where is the line for what I'm allowed to do as a consenting adult as far as panicking? Maybe, maybe I'll invite a friend or two over, but it'll all be like good, you know, but like to freak out or get real, real, real nervous or anything like that. Like, where's the line? Well, you couldn't be loud at all and you couldn't put in any damage to the room. Well, no, of course not. I just meant as far as like anything we're not supposed to say or do, or, or can we can we walk around like t tearing tearing at our clothes, being you know like oh what oh, was me type type stuff, you know, like in the common area. That's fine as long as you're not loud. Okay, so we can as long as we're panicking quietly. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're more towards like um like the type of stuff you're allowed to do at like a truck stop bathroom rather than the stuff you're not allowed to do like at an airport bathroom Correct. okay i understand then i understand a lot better then and I, i'm gonna freak i'm gonna freak out a little bit uh, um is it cool what about it doing uppers a little bit more what do you mean like stimulants to make me get more nervous and stuff uh you can do that well I'm allowed it depends on what it is um you can't do it on property so. good old it's just good old good old fashioned american cocaine well, not on property. But it's not like meth or, or anything dirty like that. No, I know. I'm just saying you wouldn't okay. to do it. Okay. You're right. So just right. Of course, just in the bathroom when you can't see. No, like you would have to do it off property. Oh, in the ba well, the bathroom doesn't count because that's private property. No, it's still the, the hotel's property. Well, no, it's private though because like you can't put a camera in there or anything. Correct. That's why you're allowed, as long as you put it down the drain, you're allowed to smoke in there. No, you know what you Well, not. no, like from prison where you run, you put the flush the toilet and you poof down the toilet and flush it. I understand what you mean. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. And plus there's a towel, there's a towel under the door, there's hot water running everywhere. It's, there's a whole system. I've got it under control. Okay. Thank you for giving me permission. I didn't. Well, I heard it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for calling Keith Unfairfield. How can I help you? Okay. Now, are we allowed to, like, have, like, a hard time? Like, up in, like I'm having, like, a hard time and, like, emotionally. Um, are we allowed to, like, to do that? In the, you know, do you know what I'm saying? Hello? No. Could you elaborate? Um, like, just, just have, I'm just having, like, a real hard time, and I just don't want to get, like, any trouble. And, you know, I just don't want to get any trouble for that. Like just emotionally, just like just you know, just emotionally. I'm just having a really hard time, and I just want to make sure it's okay. Um, like if I could, you know, if I could just you know have a hard time in my room, just by myself. I'm not trying to bring anybody else in with you know, just by myself. I just gotta you know, I gotta I just gotta sit and to sit and think about it. I'm just having you know, just have a real hard time just for a little while. What room are you in? Um, do I have to tell you? Yes. One, two, three. And what's your last name? Why? I don't want to tell you. It's Smith. Thank you for calling La Quinta. How can I help you? Uh, I had a question. Um, I'm up in the room. I did not order any cleaning, any room service, no housekeepers, nothing like that. Who cleaned up 
all the broken glass in here? Uh, I mean, if it wasn't housekeeping, the housekeeper would be the only person I would clean that. Okay, but I know I didn't ask them to. I, I had the do not disturb thing. I just would like, <sighs> God damn it. That was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot of broken glass. Uh-huh. And I, it's all gone now. What do you, do the housekeepers have it or what, where would they put it? If it was broken glass, they probably threw it away. Um, hello? Sorry, wait. My phone is messing up. Oh, uh, no. What's your oh, God, no. Your phone. Jesus Christ. Calm down. Everything's going to be good, okay? It's going to work out with your phone. Uh, my room number? Yeah. Uh, number one, do I have to tell you? And number two, I would prefer not to. Thank you. Oh, no, because I was going to yell at housekeeping for cleaning up when you said you didn't want to. <laughs> they didn't say anything to you about it? At all? No. Well, I... I've, I okay. I, I've had... Okay. Can I just tell you what I'm afraid of? Because... Yeah. I'm afraid that housekeeping isn't the one who did this because there was a lot of blood on that broken glass. Mm-hmm. I feel like they would have, you know, you guys talk, right? It's it's a it's a work job. I'm sure you guys talk about strange things that happen, and I would think that that would get mentioned to you. Well, um, housekeeping. Well, we're front desk, but we don't really talk to housekeeping. We barely see them. We only like talk to them when like. One of the guests, like, wants something specifically. Okay. We, mm-hmm. I'm worried about Louie because he's been trying to get his hands on my broken glass for a while now. Um, I don't know. Is there a chance that, like, maybe he manipulated one of you into giving a room key or something? No. I mean, nobody would have to give him a room key? I don't know. I, Louie's a son of a bitch. There's no, there's no telling what he'd do. He'd manipulate staff. He'd, he'd lie. He'd do half-truths. He'd do just whatever it took to get his hands on my glass. He's been trying for like six months. He's been trying for six months to get at this. That's why I'm worried that it wasn't housekeeping. And if it is housekeeping, which dumpster? And am I allowed in that dumpster? And for how long am I allowed in that dumpster? And can I call people who aren't guests into the dumpster with me? Mm, I'm not sure. Let, let me ask my supervisor. Okay. I just – listen. I got to get this glass back and I got to find out if oh, – Jesus fucking Louie. Who's Louie? Oh, he's been after my glass for so long. I don't even really want to get into the whole thing. It was – it started over a girl, you know, as a lot of things do. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she's with me. She's with him. She's with me. She's And then yeah. and then Louie's like, oh, where'd you get all that broken glass, you know? And then that's – yeah. Fuck, man. It's been downhill since there with him, as far as him goes. I was cool with the girl. She was a whore. Um, I'm sorry. She was a slut. <laughs> I almost said whore. I'm sorry. I almost said whore, and that would have been – okay. Pardon me. Um, yeah, she was a slut, so it doesn't matter that she was sleeping with the two of us. But I'm just saying that like then then he had seen how much broken glass I'd been accumulating, and then and then that's when I started having problems with him. Okay. So you don't want me to ask housekeeping? I don't – okay. I do and I don't. I do, but then there's the whole Louis issue, you know? He's like a, a wild card. He's kind of like a wild card in this situation. I mean, if he doesn't work here, there's no way for him to get any information from us. He could have climbed in the windows. I don't know. I don't know either. He's, he's got a million man. tricks. Well, no. No. He's no, not he's, that cool. Uh, he's not that cool at all. Uh, one second, honey. Can I put you on hold real quick? No, you may not. I must go. Thank you. Okay, bye. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hey, is this Hello? the front? You said this is the front. Hello, this is the front desk? Yes, how can I help you? Okay, now, while we're up in the room... Um, now I'm not going to say, like, I just want to make sure I'm not going to get in trouble for anything. Like, I'm not, like, it's not like a hurting yourself type of thing. It's more of like a, like a punishment. Like I'm trying, like I'm trying to like issue like a punishment here. And, uh, I, I just want to make sure where I can, you know, I, I'm okay. Like everything's, everything's fine. I'm like, I just kind of, you know, I'm I'm in a little bit of trouble. You know, just they, they gotta take care of it, and everything's fine. But just a little bit of punishment, and it's not hurting myself. Like, I'm is there gonna sorry. be a problem? I'm sorry. I just want to make sure. It, yeah, I just want you to think that I'm like hurting myself or anything like that. I'm being punished. What room are you in? Do I have to tell you? 
I'm just a little confused because you're calling the front desk and you're telling me you're hurting yourself. So did you need a no, no, I, no? I'm not. I'm not. I'm telling you, I am not hurting myself, but I am. T- I'm trying to be punished. So I've, I've done some like misdoings and I have to be punished for them. I'm just gonna say, as long as there's not complaints about the the noise, I guess you're okay. I'm not even sure which room you're calling from, so I guess you're fine. Well, I mean, there's, there might be a little bit of yelling. Well, then if there's yelling and we have complaints, we'll knock on your door. And then if you can't bring it down, then, you know, we'll have to have some other options. Um, but like I said, as long as you just keep it down and we don't have any complaints, you should be fine. If they keep me, if I, if I stay quiet, then everything is going to be fine. I just have to be quiet. I am, <laughs> I'm not sure, sir, if you want me to be honest. Um, but yeah, was there anything else I can help you with? Because it's not hurting. It's not hurt, hurting myself. You know, it's it's a uh, it's a punishment. Okay. Was there anything else I can help you with? Well, no. As long as I'm not gonna, you know, I don't want to cause problems and stuff like that. All right. Well, you should be fine. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns, just call me. Okay. Okay. Thank God for you. No problem. Bye. Thank you for calling Lake to Northeast. My name is Cassandra. How can I help you this evening? Hey, Cassandra. How, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. What can I do for you? Well, I don't want to freak you out or nothing because, number one, can we just be 100% clear that I'm, I'm of sound body and mind and I'm of no danger to anyone of myself or nobody else neither? I just got a weird question for you. Okay. Now, who is in charge of my safety while I'm down there? Like, I mean, um, okay, like I, hotel staff wise? At, at all, yeah. If you'd have someone assigned to that, or if there's a general duty of the manager or something, it's my safety manager as well. There's something. I don't, and again, I, I'm not trying to freak you out, but if I was to intentionally put myself in danger, hypothetically speaking, if I put myself in danger, like on purpose, is there someone who would stop me? Um, I honestly would not know how to answer that. Uh, okay. It, we don't. I mean, we don't like have cameras in the room where we're monitoring people. So. Mm, so it's no, is no one in charge? Of, like, in my is it like wild the old Wild West uh, with Will Smith in it, like that, and everyone's just in charge of doing whatever the hell they want, or what? Well, there are rules to the hotel, but. Like, no, that's a know. safety. That's a, that's being in charge of my safety. Like if okay again. Just to be as an example, if I was to punch myself in the jaw, is that allowed by the rules or not? If it were inside your own room, then we would need like, to... So no one would stop me from beating myself up. Like, we don't have cameras inside the room. Mm. If you were inside your own room, then we wouldn't even know about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so if I, if I threw myself down that... What if I threw myself down the stairwell then? Then now we're talking, okay. huh? Because that, that's, that's pro- yeah, that's probably one, but that's about it. No, no, don't call. No, I'm saying don't, please. And that, um, that would be on camera then. So then now we're cooking with gas, so to speak, on that one, and we got a, we got something to deal with, right? Um, yeah. Well, if if you did something like that, then our only our only option would be to call 911. No, 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 no. Not if I popped right up and dusted off. We no, we would still have to. Yeah. But call, why would you – could you at least – okay, in, if this this is all hypothetical, by the way, because I'm probably going to do something different than throw myself down the stairs. Um, could you call non-emergency maybe if I jump up and dust off? If if you did something like that, no, we would have could to. I call we maybe – well, because – oh, shit. Because if you do that, then I'm going to have to call the sheriff on you. And then that puts us into a whole thing. You call the cops. I'm calling the sheriff. You know, that's how it – and then they'll they'll have to talk to each other for a while, and then there's all the paperwork. And you're going to have to give them your ID. Yeah, but if, if we witnessed you, like, throw yourself down the stairs, we would – On purpose, to- though. Like, on purpose. Like, for – just to test my safety. That's yeah, all it is. I'm not trying to hurt myself. It's just a test. Like, you know how they do not, on the radio – that and we would have to because legally we would have to call 911 because if there and was any I, damages legally, we have to protect ourselves that way. I would be quite required to call the sheriff then because of my policy. 
I have a, I don't mean to be rude, but I have a strict policy of that if someone's calling the cops, I'm going to call the sheriff, like right away, real quick. No, it wouldn't be the cops. It would be 911. I'd call the sheriff then. For an ambulance. I think they could send like maybe one of those. Um, I don't, do they have a motorcycle on the sheriff? I wouldn't know. I, I don't know either. Me. Yeah, me neither. I just meant to match the ambulance. They could drive a motorcycle because those two go together. That's all. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm sorry if you took it the wrong way. Okay. All right. Just to sum up then, you know, this is just for testing on my safety and everything's cool. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not even high if that's what you were thinking. Um, is it? This, is it? This, ever, uh, this is not the line of questioning I've ever had. So I wouldn't know what to think on this one. Okay. Um, but if, if that were a thing you were planning on doing at the hotel, then we, uh, if just we to test, to not to hurt, not, not, to stay here. Not to injure, not to injure myself, just to test my danger levels and my safety levels and safety and danger. Yeah, That's it, all. but it doesn't matter if we if we knew a, if, like if because you're telling me now and I do have caller mm-hmm. ID. Mm-hmm. If I do see your name under a reservation, we would cancel. We can. Well, it does. Allow. It it doesn't show up right on my name, does it? It does. What does it say? I turn because I went into Android settings and I turned it off, so it shouldn't show my name. It should show unavailable. It does not show unavailable. It does. It does come up with a name. What name? It doesn't say Tommy, does it? And I do not have to answer that. I am done. Well, okay. As long as it doesn't say Tommy. <laughs> Looking thin and sweet. This is Geneva. How may I help you? Hi, Geneva. Um, how do how do we like you're at the fr- your front desk, right? You're at front desk. Yes. How how do we like go about like waiving our rights, like um, when we're staying here? What do you mean waiving your rights? Like your safety, like your your rights to to do things, like my my safety rights, basically. I, I'm still not understanding the question. Like, like if something were to happen to me, I don't want I don't want you guys to do anything. Like, you know, just wave. I just want to waive my rights. Just go ahead and just waive them. This is a hotel, so you don't. We don't. You're right. Waive right. Rights. Oh no, no. Like, if, like if I like you know like fell down the stairs or something. Like, just I just want to waive my rights. Oh, okay. I'll I'll let you know. Yeah. Do I have to sign like a form or something? I've worked here for six months and I've never had this question. I would have to talk to my manager about it. Yeah, so I, you know, so I can't like sue you or anything. I just want to waive all that right now. Yeah. So which room are you in? Because I have to talk to my manager about this. I do not know what Ooh, room I would. Um, do I have to tell? But do I have to tell you the room number? If you want to waive the rights, then I would need to talk to the manager. Well, do I have to talk to the manager? Like, do they have to sign the form with? Like, who am I signing this form? Thanks for calling Lucky Inn. I'll look for Key Midtown. This is Justin. How can I assist your call? Hey, Justin, you can uh, uh, assist my call. Um, by I was wondering, I have a question at you. Sure, just hold on one moment. Well, I have it now, though. Thank you so much for holding. How can I assist your call? You said you had a question. Yeah, you can. Thank, thank you. Yes, you can. Thank you. Um, I had a question about if I, how how didn't I how if I would get in trouble. Um, how much trouble can I get in if I get caught manipulating like the staff? I guess would be a way to put it. Uh, sir, I'm not really sure how this conversation is going to continue, but this is a place of business, so if there's like right, no, oh no, 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 no. I'm in the room. I'm a guest here. I know. Uh, okay. I, I so meant. Okay. Why don't we directly just get to what it is that you need, sir, and then so I can tell you if I'm going to be able to help you out or not. Like if the room keepers and I'm tricking them or something, and and I'll, I'll tell them something that's not true, and it makes them confused a little bit, and then they're acting in a way what that. What's your room number, sir? Do I have to tell you? Yes. Why? I don't remember. I read most of that little fine print when I was signing in, and I don't remember it saying that I had to give my room number anywhere. I thought it was more of like an AOL uh, policy, like where they never ask for your password. Sir, Shouldn't do you have? 
about five more seconds before I go have this hotel hallway search to speak with the housekeepers that I work today. I'm okay. not sure what you're trying to lead on to. I'm trying to check. I, if I sir, if you need to go ahead and either give me your room number, let me know what's going on, sir. I'm gonna disconnect the call. Okay, okay, please don't, please don't, please don't. Listen, I'm sorry. I just don't think I read the fine print. I don't think I have to give you the room number. I think you already have that information on file, and you shouldn't be asking me that if you're legitimately the front desk. I don't want you to come up to my room anyway, is the thing. So I don't want to give you the number because you might come up here. I'm not fully dressed. I don't want any trouble like that. This is Jonah at the front desk. I'm going to help you. Hi, Jenna. Um, where do I like go to like uh, get my white rights waived for, the, for my stay at the room? I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, who, who do I got to talk to to get my my, uh, my rights waived, you know, for staying in the room? Your rights waived? Rights. My rights. I, I wish to waive them. Um, I think you would talk with our manager, but they're not here right now. I mean, can I just, like, waive them with you, though? Um, are you with a company or like, did the company no. pay, pay for it? No, no, no. Was there yeah, something it's wrong a case. in the room? Oh no, I just want to make sure like, I just want to completely waive my rights. Like I, I can't uh, come back to you guys later and see you or anything. Like I just want to completely waive my rights like right now. Hi. Okay. One second. What do you, where are you going? Uh, darn. I don't know. Maybe this one's not funny. Thank you for calling Comfort Suites. This is Amanda. Can I help you? Hey, okay, Amanda. I don't want you to get worried or nothing. I really don't want to get anyone in trouble. Um, I'm up in the room. I'm just wondering, is there, like, a limit for how long this girl is allowed to be naked in my room? I really don't know her that well. I, I, I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please, sir? Like a time limit. I, I don't know, you know, she's had her clothes off for like three hours now, and it's getting to be a bit much. I just wondered if there was a time limit where she's got to put her clothes back on or go or something. Um, and uh, hold on, sir. Can I put you on hold for just a no, moment? No, I'd prefer not, because I, I, as the seconds are ticking, she's not... Oh, God, I just wish she put on a towel or something, at least. And then she could stay, and we could watch a few more movies, but I don't really want... I, I'd like to get to know her. I really don't know her. I'd like to get to know her, but I'd like her to put her clothes on. Hi, this is Thelma. Can I help you? Hi, Thelma. Did she tell you about the girl? No. Okay, I'm in the bathroom right now. She's out there sitting on the bed. She doesn't have her clothes on, Um, and she's been here for like three hours, and she's been naked for basically the whole time. Is there a limit to that? I mean, that's my question. What I'm, room are you in? I don't... I invited her in here, but I don't know her that well, and I didn't know she was going to be naked all like, all like this. I asked her to put her clothes on, and she said, no, thank you, please, like very politely. Okay, would you like for me to call the police? Oh, I'll call the sheriff if you do that. That's my policy. Okay, well. I don't, and I don't want to call the sheriff on you. I don't know if you have warrants or anything. What room are you in? I, do I have to tell you that is the question. What, what would you like for us to do to help you then? It's, okay, uh, so I, a rule that I can cite to her and be like, Lagunta, um, six subsection L15QX says you got to put your, at least you have to put at least panties in a bra, hon. I could tell her. Um, so I, I would appreciate She's, because we're watching movies and stuff, and I would like to watch another movie or two. I don't, I don't know her, um, but I would like to get to know her, but I didn't. I just didn't know she, I just didn't know she was going to be naked like this. Like, I like the female figure and everything. It's not like she's unattractive. It's just a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit much for like a, the first time we're meeting. Okay. And I don't, I don't want her to get in trouble. You know, I, she seems like a nice girl other than the naked thing. And I'm not trying to be ugly or anything, but. How can I help you? I, I don't know what... No, what, she's not... Okay, if she was ugly, then that would explain why I didn't want her. I'm, to, not, I'm just saying that... I'm, I just It's just not how I was raised. I, you know, a Christian, I'm a nice little nice young man. I used to be or whatever before the drinking and everything. Um, and that's just not... I, that's enough. As enough is enough. Once I saw, you know, all, all the top parts and all the different bottom parts, I don't, I don't need her to be naked anymore. 
Okay. And I, I've asked her like four or five times to put her clothes on. Is that enough reason for me to remove her from the room? If just because of the clothes? Because like I said, other, and I don't want to make her angry either. I would, if you could just cite a law or a rule or a policy that says that this girl's got to put some damn Hi, panties on. I have the Clovis Police Department on the other line. Who am I speaking with? May I speak with the, who's the, what's his uh, ba- uh, name and badge number then? What is your name, sir? Well, I need to know his name and badge number first for my records. Okay, I'm going to transfer over, but I need your information. Are just, you a guest oh, here at the hotel? Oh, just transfer it over, please. Because there's no, I told you not to freak out or anything. I don't want this girl to be in trouble, and no one is in danger, and I don't want her trespass from the property, and I just wanted you to ha- find some way for you to find some way to make this girl at least put on a pair of panties. Sir, if you have a guest there, that's your guest. If she's mm-hmm. doing something that you don't mm-hmm. want her there for, we can mm-hmm. call the police. Well, I didn't ask you to. You made that decision on your own, and now I need to tell the police officer that you went way too far and you went over the line. Because I don't want this girl to get in trouble. God damn. What's what the, room are you in? I No, there's no way in hell I'm telling you that. Absolutely not. Please let me talk to the police officer. I don't have to give you any information once you've involved the police. And I need to come. Security Mexico. This is Laura. How can I help you? Hi. Yeah. Uh, is this the front desk? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, who do I talk to? Like, if I want to, you know, figure out who's messing and k- kicking around out there and trying to, um, oh crap, what was that? Uh, you know, trying to figure out who's trying to get to, you know, through the rooms and everything. Just wanna, just you know, just like a little talking to with them. I'm not sure. Was there somebody like trying to get into your guys' room or something? No, they they um, they got in and they got in and they like they cleaned it. It was the weirdest. Like everything's all put away and like I don't. I've never had that happen before like that. Usually they like they rough they break the place up a little bit and they take stuff. Oh, um, you know, I'm like they're pretty sure that that was our housekeeping. Oh, what was the room number for you? Who wait? Who are these people? They got they went into my you know them? The housekeeping? You who who let them into my room? Uh the housekeeping if you were a stayover, uh they usually have to go clean the rooms and everything like that. They usually have it no, down on a paper no. for you. You did you let you let them in then? No, sir, I actually just got on shift about an hour ago. I'm actually not sure Ooh. what we're we're talking about. What's Okay, you're let, you're going around letting people in the rooms and gleaning them for them. All will, that's weird. Why are you doing that? Um, sir, I'm to be honest, really confused about what we're talking about. I'm I actually just got on shift an hour ago. The only people that go into rooms to clean is my housekeeping, and they're they're kind of authorized to do that. That means they're touching on everything, and they're like just like looking at it. They're looking and touching, and like with their hands, just all over, like just with you know. Okay, what's the room number no. for you? Whoa, why? I don't want you coming in. No, I don't want... No. I'm not why coming you up to your set? room, sir. I just need to know so that they don't go to your room tomorrow. Why, wait, why are they going... To, they're doing this to other people, and you know about it? Yes, sir, they're housekeeping. They work here at the, why the hotel them for touch us. On every, hey, you're letting them touch all over everybody's stuff like that. Sir, they're authorized to. They're housekeeping. Who authorized them? I didn't authorize any... This is What's America. your room number so that I can figure it out for you? I didn't authorize anybody to come, like, touching on any of my stuff. Okay, what's who, the room number for you? Who gave you the authorization? I have to know the room number so I can figure this out. So I what is your room number? The, no, I want to talk to the authorizer. I am the authorizer, so I have to know your room number so I can figure out what the issue is. Why did you authorize these people? Why are they... Sir, okay. Whenever you check into the hotel, if you are a stayover for more than two days, the housekeeping that works here will go into your room and clean the room for you. And they touch all over everything. No, sir. They just change your sheets and give you new towels. That's all they really do. Well, they're definitely, like, they're looking at it. Like, they're definitely, like, eyeballing and looking at things. Okay, well, I will make sure they don't go in there tomorrow. So what is your room number? What? No, you're gonna send them. You're gonna send them up here now. Why? Why are you trying to? Sir, I am the only one on shift. I'm trying to make sure that you don't have this problem tomorrow. Can I just know your room number? Why? You, see, I knew you're the one doing. If you're the only one there, you must be coming in here when I'm not looking. Sir, I just got on shift. Our housekeeping is authorized to go in here and clean your room. They are not here when but, I am on shift. I do not know what the issue is until you tell me your room someone, number. 
that's what someone would say if they're trying to get into someone's room. Now, I don't know what like you're getting out of this. But, I'm not I getting mean, anything, sir, but stress and frustration, to be honest with you. I just need your what? room number so I can tell housekeeping not to mess with your room. But they're touching and looking at it. No, sir. The only thing that housekeeping does is go into your room. They change your sheets. They change your towels, and that's it. They don't go through your belongings. They don't eyeball your stuff. Nothing like that. But can I please well, I mean, know your room just, number so I can get this authorized for you? I didn't say they stole nothing or anything. I mean, they're just looking at it. It's just weird. If people are just like, you know, looking at your, it's just looking at stuff. Okay, like for sure. Um, I'll make sure, like I said, that they don't hit the room tomorrow. Um, I just need to know your room number. But, but I got to protect everybody else. You're going to just let them into somebody else's room and they're going to start like looking at their stuff. I mean, that's. Um, if anything, I'm not I, like unless you give me your room number, I'm not really sure what else to do because, you know, housekeeping's kind of authorized to clean your guys' room, but I can't tell them not to clean the room unless I know the room number. And I, I work here; I'm not like a random stranger that's trying to get into your guys' room. So there's no, I'm not really well, they sure. Got what in, to do though. Other than they got in. They got in. It's like some there is no signs of forced entry. It's like they had a key. Yes, sir. They're housekeeping. They have. They work here. They have keys to the room. See, I knew, you, you gave them keys. You gave them you yes, keys sir, to everyone's room, here. They're probably. going to have keys. That's what I'm saying. And unless I know your room number to stop them from cleaning your room, I can't. They're authorized to do it. They they have keys here because they work here. You gave keys to everybody? Sir, the housekeeping has keys themselves. They work for our company. Oh, my God. Huh? Jesus, I just should just leave my door wide open then at this point. Sir, can I just know oh your room God. number so I can tell them not to touch your room? That is the only thing I need to fix this issue, and then that I'll will just, be all I need. I'll, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just transfer all my stuff into the hallway. That way, you can look at it anytime you want. I don't want to have okay, any sir, problems. Okay, no problem. If whenever you decide to give me your room number, just go ahead and give me a call back. Okay, uh, thank you. I love you. Thank you for calling Wakinta. This is Priya. How may I help you? Hey, Priya. Do, um, do you guys have a tube that I could use down there? Any kind of tube, tube would be fine. Yeah, any tube will do. Um, I don't think we do. Let me look around for a second. What yeah, were you needing you. it for? Oh, just, um, you know, put some things on the interior and then maybe roll it a little bit. Just tube stuff. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Um, I don't think we do. Paper, like, uh, you don't have a paper towel down there? I have paper... It's those those have a those have a tube in the middle and that tube any like I said any kind of tube will do. Any kind of tube here. Give me one second. Let me ask Rachel. Over. Thank you. Hi, I found a toilet paper tube. Is that fine? Like a little. Any tube will do. Board? Yeah, that's a little on the short side. Do you have two? I only have one. <laughs> okay. I, well, I, like I said, any tube will do. Um, and then do you need it back? Cause like I only need to use it. I don't need to keep it. I just need to use it. No, tube. I don't need it back though. We're so gonna I, throw uh, it away anyway. Well, okay. Is there toilet paper on it? No, there isn't. Okay, good. Sweet. Thank you. So it's just a tube then. Uh -huh. Just a tube. Yep. All right. Oh, no, it's a fine. I'll be down. Thank you. Oh, do I need to wear socks when I come down to get it? Okay. Do I have to have my socks on when I come down to get it? You have to have your socks on when you come down to get it. Yeah, the tube. When I come down to get the tube, do I have to have my socks on? Um, I think you should be fine. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll be down and a little I'm bit. Socks I'm off. Leaving the, and I'm leaving the tube on the front desk, okay? Well, I want to talk to you about it, though. You want to talk to me about it? I want to talk about the tube, yeah. Do you want to talk about the tube now, or do you want to talk about the tube in person? I'm a little busy right now, so I won't Okay, we can talk in person. Well, when I get down there, we can do a little bit of tube talk when I get down there. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. I love you. Hi, thank you for calling the Quinta and Sleeping Gal. May I please put you on a brief hold? I am with a guest. Oh, I just want to know if we got any tubes down there at the desk. Any what? Tubes. Like tube I'm for... I'm, I'm trying to get a tube, any kind of tube. I don't have any, no. Any, any kind of tube? Like, you don't have a paper towel? Any kind of, it, it's just a tube? Um, no, actually. We don't carry, like, Working. a roll of, like... Unless you want, like, a, a toilet paper roll. Do you have, well, is it just a tube, though? I just want the uh, tube. Oh, yeah, I don't have anything like that. Could you cut the, like, the paper off? I mean... Um, How do we... I can't really do that, no. Oh. Uh, like, who else would have a tube? Do you have a different kind of tube, maybe? 
No, I don't have any type of tubes, like, at all. Who would have some tubes around here? Mm, to be honest, I'm not even too sure. Can I see if somebody in, like, one of these other rooms, if I start knocking on the doors? Like, he was, like, asking for, like, a paper towel roll or, like, something like that, like a tube. If I can just start knocking on the other doors, you think no. I, they can get one of my one of their tubes? No, because no, they have bathrooms in in those rooms. I can knock on the door and ask for their tubes. Hold on, let me put you on hold for one second. Well, I'm gonna just so ask for them for their tubes. I'm gonna go knock on the door. He's asking for he tubes, said he don't... and he's gonna go knock on the door. I'm not too sure. The, sorry. the other doors and the, like the, you know the other rooms. The other rooms, ma'am. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm one yes, of the I was gonna. Yeah, Hi, I'm gonna I'm go because she. How may I help you? She don't. She said she don't have any tubes down there. I was gonna start knocking on some of the other doors and see if they got if I have some of their tubes instead. What What do you need tubes for? Like the toilet paper roll oh, tubes? Just the tubes. Yeah, just for regular tube stuff. Um. No, don't knock on anybody else's door. Why not? Or, or should I? I mean. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have like a doorbell or anything. Should I call them first? No. If I start calling the other rooms? No. No. Well, then I should knock the then. Like a... Well, no, no, I'm just going to no. ask them for some tubes. Elevator. If they have any tubes. Um, do not disturb any of the other guests. I'm not disturbing them. I'm just going to ask them for any tubes and quietly move on to the next guest. I just want to. No. I mean, if somebody asked me, if someone knocked on my door and asked me for some tubes, I wouldn't like flip out on them. I just want to, I mean, that's just a normal thing to ask somebody. It's really not. I've been here 15 years, and I've never had that request. What tubes? Do you, what do you need? Yeah. What do tubes. you need it I just, for? I get, well, I mean, a paper towel tube would work, too, but, I mean, toilet paper tube is probably what, I mean, she said there's no paper towel tubes down there. I mean, no, we don't, I don't know. We do don't you have, have any paper towels like that. How about some pa toilet paper tubes? We don't keep them. They throw them away. See, now i got to start asking what other about people the one for in your, tubes. What about the one in your room? Well, that's like, you know, a couple. I need more than just, you know, just that. Plus, there's still paper. I, mean, I can't use them with the paper on it. i got to take the paper off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I no, just want the don't... tube. I don't want the paper. Like, I just want the tube. I'm just trying to get the tubes. Okay, well, nobody has nobody has any tubes. Everybody has paper on their toilet paper. We well, all you don't know ones. that. I do. Well, what if they what if they just ran out of one? They didn't. Um. Anyway, I have a, a line of customers, so I gotta go. But have you've never nice run out of time. you hit. You've never run out of toilet paper at a hotel, like. We have. I know you've run out of. Away immediately. But I have well, other customers I, I, I need to I can't. Hey, Irene. Um, I mean, do you have any like tubes or string down there? I'm sorry, do I have any what? Tubes or string. Okay, you're cutting off. That's why I didn't hear you the first time or the second time. I don't I don't know if I believe you. Oh, my God. I'm oh, sorry. that's my line. You can't say that. I am the if one who says, oh, my tubes, God. If we have tubes of what? Tubes, tubes, or string. Either one is fine. Toothpaste? Uh, that's good. If it comes in a tube, that's good. I'm sorry, sir. I really, you keep cutting off, so I can't really understand what you're asking me. I don't know if I believe you. You're the first one who's ever said that to me, so I think you're lying. No, I mean, I just can't hear you. Sh the try shaking it a little. Okay, let's see. I'm moving the cord that's hooked up to the phone. So okay. okay. How about now? now? Tell me what you're doing. Well, I so, okay. need either some tubes or some string or both if you got them. Okay, I don't have any tubes and I don't have any string. Well, do you know where I could, ob could obtain some? Uh, there's a Walmart down the street. That won't work. Um, is it all right if I knock on a few doors and see if any of the guests have string? No, sir. I don't think that would be appropriate. Would you be able to call around for me then? Um, no, sir. I mean, right now I'm tied up with some guests. Oh, can you connect me to another guest room, please, 101? Um, no, sir, I can't do that unless what? you know who you want to talk to. 101 first, and then we'll go from there. No, sir, I, can't, I wouldn't be able to do that. How would I, I be? Call management and okay. ask them. Okay. If they have string? 
Or tube. Or a tube. I think a tube, if you could get like a, a paper towel or toilet paper or anything like – or uh, tin foil or a, aluminum wrap, any of that, that comes on a tube. Um, if you want to come to the front desk and I'll see what I can find. I know I don't have no tubes or no string. Do you mind if I look around to see if you have any tubes? Um, sir, I really can't have you just, you know, snooping around the hotel. I can try to get you what I, I could try, I would try to find you what I can. I just okay. don't have no tooth or string. I was you just, have okay. To come down. I was just thinking if you gave me one of those, um, like one of the hospitality keys, then I would be able to look all no, around sir, for I'm string. Sorry, I cannot give you a key. I'm well, sorry. if you did, I'm just saying that I wouldn't hardly need your help. I'm sure I'd be able to find some string and some tubes no, somewhere sir, in this damn place. I would not be able to do that. No, sir. I'm so sorry. I cannot. Just the ones, it. the ones that you give to the housekeepers. That's all that I meant. Uh, no, sir. I would not be able to do that. I cannot give you a house. Oh, okay. I, you're freaking out. I'll, I'm not looking to do anything weird. I'm just looking for tubes and string. Yeah, so I'm I don't so know why sorry. you're getting. This conversation is over, sir. I'm so sorry. Oh no, it's not. Please, I need string. Sir, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not hanging up on you, but I cannot. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Don't. Please. Wait. Reverse. I cannot accommodate. What I need room to. Are you in, sir? I, do I have to tell you? I'm just trying to tie sir, up some I'm things and put tubes around. Thank you for calling, Lakinta. This is Stephanie. Hi, Bethany. You're at the at the in the, in, in the beginning up there where you first come in. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, I'm trying to figure this out. Like, it looks like somebody came in here and, like, I don't think anything was stolen or anything, but, like, Mm -hmm. I think they, I think, I think they actually straightened up. Like, everything looks... Someone went in your room and cleaned up? I think so. Okay. What room number are you in? Wait, do I have to tell you that? Like, I'm kind of concerned right now. Okay. Okay. Well, I won't be able, I mean, I don't believe anybody went in your room unless you're down for a refresh. <clears throat> a what? A refresh? Like, what do you mean if a you refresh? wanted your room, uh, if you wanted your room clean, you would have told us and we would have told the housekeeper to go do it. <clears throat> Wait, you ha- you, you're sending people into my room? No, no. If you were down for a refresh, that would be the only reason somebody would have gone into your room. Who's putting Nobody people in the rooms room. like that? No. What do you mean? No. It's all it's all straightened up and clean, though. Uh, nobody should have gone in your room. I don't understand. You get, other people have keys to my room, though. I'm. What's going on with that? No, nobody else has a key to your room. Only you. Well, how did they get in here? And it's all clean now. <clears throat> what? I see. I can't do anything on my end unless I know what room number you're in, so I can figure you, it out. Well, you're gonna send. I don't want you to send them again. No, I, I'm I not sending any. No, I'm not sending anybody. I just was trying to figure out. Because they got the what key. room number you were in. How did they get the key? Nobody should have a key to your room. But the ones that clean the room. You <clears> said you sent people in to clean the room. No, I did not send anybody to your room to be cleaned. I said if How'd... you requested service, then we would have sent somebody to your room. But if you're, I don't have anybody on the refresh list. So why are you sending people into rooms like that? That's weird. I, they're all looking and touching and all my thick there is looking at stuff. You know they're like looking at things. Uh, nobody uh, should have been it, in your it, room, sir. What do you mean? What? No, because like they cleaned it. They didn't steal anything. That's why I'm so confused. Um, Normally, when someone comes in a room, like there was no sign of forced entry or anything. Like it looks like it looks like they had a key. They got in here. Mm-hmm. And you're looking around, and they, you know, made it look nice, and then they left. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what room number you're in, so I won't. I. I have a list of the rooms that the maids went into today, and see, I knew it. Um, I knew it. They're going in. You're no, sending no, them in no, just all no, over no. the place. Sir, you're sending people no. into rooms. No, we're not. Only if you ask look... for service. What do you mean? Oh, like if you ask for service. If you wanted service for your room, you said you then... had a list of people. You had a list, and you're sending people like my <laughs> no, name. Sir. You. You already, no, you already no, no. have my name. You're asking me for room numbers and names and all kinds of personal information, and you have it. You have it on file. 
you're you're sending them in there, and they're. I mean, they definitely. Are, they have to touch the like a couple things to get in the room, like, and then they are looking at everything. Um, they're looking at yeah. It. Nobody should have been in your room today. But it's all. But so I didn't clean this. Are you saying I clean my room? I'm saying I don't know. Um, I don't know what room number you're in, so I don't know what to go off of. You told me you had the whole list of rooms and names and everything, I and you're sending them list. in one by I one. Have, no, 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 sir. Um, uh, I have the rooms that were cleaned today, not your room. Your room would not have been clean today unless you asked for Why did you say cleaning. that? What, what do you mean by clean? Like you said it like it was in air quotes. Like clean. Like it was a what? No, if you like wanted your qu- room clean. You're sending them in there. Why? Okay. No, sir. I, I guess. I mean, I'm, like, I'm just so confused. They didn't steal anything. Like nothing is missing. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, sir. Normally Nobody when someone would do something your room. like this. What? No, I mean they, I they cleaned it. Yeah, that's strange. Can I come clean down there then? I mean, I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. What do you mean? Well, you're sending people into the rooms. Are we supposed to like? Are we supposed to do something? No, you don't have to do anything. Nobody should have been in your room. I can come sweep like the main area. If that's not, like, I don't know. Do you guys need people to mop? No, we have people that do that for us. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're sending them into the room. So I know you, like, what about the main areas? Like, the common areas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah those they're are, much bigger. Those... Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, aren't we supposed to clean that? No, you don't have to clean anything for us. We have people that clean it for us. No, in the rooms, though. You're sending people in the rooms you get with only your list. If, only if people ask for service. When you, no, you're sending them one by one into all the rooms. That's what you just said. Like, you have a list of all the names and all the... Like, that's what you said. And that you want to no, match ha- me up on this list. No, 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 sir. So, is there know. anything that you need? Um... I don't. How did they get the key? Nobody should have been in your room. How did they get? Okay, now this list. Do you have to yeah, give them I, a copy of the key? Like I don't. Like so you have to hand them the key to go clean the room. Then is what you're saying. No, that's not done here. The cleaning is not done there. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, if you request service while you're here, if you're staying like a long time here. Um, you can request service, and we will send a maid to clean your room. So I have to drop off my key then? No, you don't have to drop off your key. Well, how do they get in then? They have their own keys. So you're handing out keys? That, rooms. I knew it. See, no, I knew sir, it. I knew sir, sir. No. I knew it. I knew that it. That is not I what's happening. Was, you're giving out okay. keys to all these people, and then you're having them clean the rooms. I don't know why you're doing this, but you're doing this. Um, I'm not understanding what you're needing right now, sir. You just said you didn't hand out the keys, and then you just told me you handed out the keys. No, sir. I need to get off the phone now. Why? Um, Because I have people in the lobby that I need to attend to. Are they there to clean? I mean, am I, am I late? No, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Cleaning? Yeah. What time am I supposed to come clean? You don't need to come clean anything. No, not the room. You already sent people up here for that. I mean, for like down there. No, no, we're fine. We have people that work for us that clean here. you have any tubes? Tubes? Yeah. You're not making any sense, sir. To me. Oh no, for tubes for cleaning. Uh, tubes for cleaning? Yeah. And I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, we cleaning don't need tubes. anybody to come clean. I don't know what a cleaning tube is. It's for cleaning. 
Okay, I need to get off the phone now, sir. I've got people I need to tend to, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I love you. Hello? Hey, um, this is Ted Regis from the front desk with William from yesterday. Um, I, I, I'm I, sorry. I don't know who you are, sir. Oh, did you just get this room? I have. Oh, my Lord. So, okay, well, my name is Ted, and I'm with William from the front desk from yesterday around 8.30-ish. I yeah. needed to talk to you about the number of breakfast sandwiches um, that you are allowed from the front. I don't, I don't understand what you're asking me, sir. For next morning. Are you, were you going to get breakfast sandwiches? I... I don't know yet. Well, I don't want you to take too many. That's all that I'm saying. It's not a yeah. hard rule, but I just don't want you to take too many. And I don't think that's too much to ask, and I don't know why no. you're being strange about it. N no, cause I was sleeping. That's why I'm Well, it's too a little bit early for that, and I think it's completely reasonable for the front desk to call you. My name okay. is Ted. I'm with I'll, William. Okay. I don't – yeah, sure. Okay. 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 One sandwich is fine. That, okay, but I mean, do you, you're going to eat the whole thing, though. Please don't waste it. Uh, right. Were you going to take yogurt and cereal as, as well, or just a breakfast sandwich? I'm just wondering. Uh, it's not that's not a hard limit. I'm just trying to get an idea because I had a yeah. feeling you might take yeah. try and take a lot, and I don't want you to take no, a lot. No, 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 no. Uh, please uh, only take what you need, though. Okay, there's a lot yeah, of other yeah, guests. Absolutely, absolutely, sir. Are absolutely. You gonna, okay, so that brings me back to the question: Are you going to be taking cereal? Uh, no. Okay, what about yogurt? No. I believe we have some fruit, some bananas, and some grapes. No, just coffee. Just oh, well, black or cream and sugar. Uh, yeah, black. Okay. Uh, how many cups? Just one. Okay, maybe... Yeah, that's good. I guess that's it. But don't go for two, please. I'm asking you. Yeah, You're allowed okay. to. You're allowed to go back for two on the sandwich uh, and the coffee, but I'm asking you not yeah. to, please. As, yeah. as Ted from uh, the front desk with William. Okay. All Thank right. you. Uh, All right. I, I love you. Sleep. I love you. Get back to bed. You're good beautiful. Night. Thank you. Good night. I keep the front desk. Okay. Do you know if some of the guests have a problem with me down there or something? I don't know. I was going through in the parking lot and shining my flashlight into some of the guests' windows, and some of them didn't seem too happy about it. I'm just Are trying you? to – I'm just a regular, normal guy. I'm just checking to see what, like, what's going – I thought I had seen a light in one of the windows, and I thought maybe that they had a problem with me, so I was just trying to check on them. And the next thing I know, everyone like, – they're all closing the blinds and this and that, and I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm just trying to shine my flashlight in the room. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, what what what, what are, are we doing? Shining a flashlight into the windows. I thought I had seen a light coming from one of them towards me, and I just thought that there was a problem or something that they might have a problem with me. So I was trying to check on them, and then I had hit a, a kind of another couple rooms next to him to see what was going on there as well. Um, and then that's when there was uh, this guy's like closing his blinds. He's looking at me. He's giving me the finger. Is he allowed to do that on property? Is he allowed to yes. give me the finger? Yes, he's allowed. That's to do That's obscene. That, that is obscene. His... That is obscene. Into his window. I wasn't looking. I'm just shining a flashlight into his room. There is a big difference. Just trying to flash him with the flashlight. Just checking it out, man. I thought he had a problem with me. That's why I put the flat. Well, I thought his neighbor, like uh, two two windows over. I thought he was flashing something at me, but it was just the way the light was catching the glass. Yeah, that's on me. He wasn't shining anything at me. That's on me. But then that's what that, I'm saying. That's what got me started. It's not like I did this unprovoked and was just shining flashlights willy nilly. I thought someone put a light on me and I thought someone might have a problem with me. That's why I'm checking out some of the windows, you know, looking in, seeing what trying to no, well, not look in, but just shine it in, see what's going on, see if there's any problems in there. So if you shine a flashlight in a window and there's a problem, you're going to know basically immediately. And that's how I knew that this one guest, I don't know how to tell the room numbers from out here. I knew this one guest, though, immediately he had a problem. He's changing the blinds and flashing them around and giving me the finger and pounding on the glass. And I don't think any of that is behavior going to be becoming of one of your guests. All right. So what are you going to do about it? Is that, did you do this recently or when would you? When yeah, no, I'm out here now. I'm in crouched down in the bushes and stuff. I'm just chilling, you know? Um. I'm since I don't know what room number it is, I, have not, I can't really do anything about it because I don't know what guest oh, it is. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just continue on then, and hopefully no one else starts flashing me, and I won't have to flash them. Okay. All right. I love you. Thank you, man. You've been real helpful. 
Yes, sir. Sorry about that. I love you. All right. Thank well, God. Thank you. God for you. Thank God for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank God. I love you. Thank you so much. Good night, Mom. Thank you for calling La Quinta Inn and Suites of Artesia. This is Mindy. How may I help you? Hey, Mandy. Uh, so I was out here smoking a cigarette. Um, I'm a guest in one of the rooms, but right now I was outside. I have my uh-huh. flashlight with me, and I was flashing my flashlight at some of the windows, and I think there's some people having sex out here. Having sex outside? No, inside the window. Inside the window? So you're... Yeah, I was... Well, no, I didn't want to see it. Like, I tapped on the window. I said, hey, knock it off. And, you know, they got all angry at me. Like, I was just trying to see what was in the windows. and. But they're in their room? I saw something. Yeah, they were in their room. Yeah, okay, that's, uh, I guess it's normal. I don't know. I, I that, really don't know what to tell you. As long as they're not having sex outside, I guess that's... That's what goes that's for normal, normal here? Like, But I could see it through the window. But you're outside smoking. Yes. Okay, well, I don't know what room that is, so technically I would not know. How would I find out what room number this is from the outside? Because I want to report this. Um, I would not know. Uh, we only verify the rooms to the inside. There's no way to, like, uh, there's no label on, like, the windows or the shutters or something? No. No, there's mm. only the room numbers are only outside of the room. Um, you can probably count the window, I guess, and then just come inside and count it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. They're in their room. And if okay, they want the window me... open, there's really nothing I could do. Oh, oh no, the window wasn't open. I mean, I saw naked bodies. I'm pretty offended here. Okay. I'll talk to my manager. Okay, yeah, let him know, because this is very suspicious. I'm, I think uh, I'm gonna have to think about my options here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, this, this is this is really really suspicious. I, I think we need to get in there and, and figure out what's going on. I'm gonna count the windows and I'm gonna come back inside and you know maybe we can get in that room and and tell them to knock it off. Well, I can't do that, sir. That is like that's their room. But, but no, there's. I mean. I can, all I could do is let my boss know. That's it. I mean, if you're offended by it, I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. That's their room. And yes, if they please, have please. curtains open, I'm sorry. I can't do yeah. nothing about it. Oh, no, they didn't have their curtains open at first. I, I was knocking because I wanted to see what was in there. But then they opened it up, and, and it was clear what they were doing. Uh, okay. Uh, all I could do is talk to my boss. That's it. Yep, uh, let your boss know that I saw people having sex and I was very offended. And that it seemed very suspicious. It was very suspicious that they were doing that. Can I get your name? My name is James. James Parker? No. Okay, and what room number are you in? Well, I'm outside right now. That's what I said. But are you at this location? Like, are you staying here at the hotel? Yes, I'm out back. Uh, I'm going to check out a couple of windows if it's, you know, I'm not, I wasn't done, but this was one of the first windows I saw. I still got my flashlight out and I still have, uh, 67% worth of battery left. So I, I my okay, flashlight can still uh, go. Okay. Can I get your room number so I can let my manager know? No, I, uh, this is a purely anonymous complaint. I'd like to make it. Because if you give them the, if I give you my room number, they, they might know if you find the naked people. Okay. Okay, that's you know, with fine. the with oh. the naked bodies, you know. Uh huh. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I can't okay. do nothing about it, but I'll just inform my manager. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Let your let your manager know that okay. there were people having sex in your hotel, because okay. that's uh, we we can't go for that. And I'm I'm not taking that's photos if if that's what you're thinking. I'm I'm just purely flashing my no, flashlight. No, actually, there. I'm with the customer right now, so I'm trying to okay you know, get him uh, taken care of. You should probably ask the customer if he knows that that's what goes on in this hotel, because he may he may not want to stay here. Okay, I'll I'll just take a look into it. What was what was that with the the phone that you just did? What are you talking about? You, you like, fiddled with the phone. I have a customer in the front. I have to attend to him. You already made Okay, yeah, you... 
I well, you need to tell them. Know. You need to tell the why customer what's going on. Why do I have to do that? No, they don't need to know what's going on. They most certainly do if they're going to stay there. They need to know that people have sex in that but hotel. Okay, but there that's normal. That's normal for people to do that. In, in a hotel? hotel. What? They, these guests are not going looking through windows or flashing their flashlights at these windows. Yes, I was doing that. This okay, guest is. Okay, you did that. Okay, you did that. But you're not supposed to do that. So technically, they are not doing nothing wrong. They are in their room. They are not doing it outside on the property. They're, they're doing it on the property, yes. They're in their room. Yeah, in their room, but they're not outside, sir. They're not outside they're... in full sunset. You're saying it. You're saying on the property. They were on the property. They're in the hotel, ma'am. I want to make yes, that clear. But they rented a room. They are allowed to. So whatever goes on in that room, sir, that is their business. So we can do pretty much anything in this room. Is that what you're saying? Sir, you're complaining about a couple. They. It sounds are... like anything goes. No, whatever happens in that room, if they want to sleep with each other, they're entitled to. They're probably a married couple. You shouldn't be flashing your flashlight at the, the guest windows. I didn't see any wedding ring on his finger, so I, I don't know if they're married. It matter, sir. That's none of your business if he's married or not married, if that's his sancha or not his sancha. I mean, I really don't care. It's not his what? Not, not his sister? No, not a sister. A sancha is a side chick. Oh, so whatever oh he that's has, a new one. Whatever he's doing. Okay, yes, whatever he's doing, that's his problem. That's not yours. That's not mine. We just rent rooms. Whatever happens in those rooms, that's their issue. If they damage any rooms, that's where we take care of it. But whatever else okay. goes on, that's not our business. All right. I'm 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 going to need to check this out a little bit more. And like I said, I I'm going to be around. Sir, but like I said, I got to go. I have a customer here that's waiting, and I need to get him into his room. Okay. I think we brought this to a stopping point. You're going to let your okay. boss know. And you're going to let yeah. the customer know, too, as well, that this is going on in the hotel. I got to go. Because they need to know. I, they need to know. Okay. Ma'am, okay. they need to know if they're going to stay here. You okay. need to make I them aware. Make I them aware to right to now. Go. Tell tell them they're having no, sex. Sir, you do not tell them they're having sex in the hotel. This is the hotel. This is where I work. And if you don't like what you see, you can check out. Well, you need to do your job and get these people to stop having sex. Tell that I customer. I don't need to. I don't need to. If tell they that want customer to have sex all they want. They can have sex all they want, sir. Tell that customer they're them. fucking. They're fucking in that okay, room. Okay, good. Okay, good for you. If you don't like it, you can check out of the hotel, sir. Tell them. Tell them. Tell that customer they're they're okay, canoodling. Sir. Gotta go. They're canoodling in there. Looking to and sweets. This is Michael. How may I help you? Okay, Michael. Um, I don't want you to get upset or anything. I don't want you to panic either. I'm, I was going out in the parking lot, um, and I thought someone had shined like a light at me down from one of the rooms. So uh -huh. I turned on, I turned on the flashlight on my phone to look up there, and then, and um, what I had seen was um, when they finally came to the window and opened it, like they were naked, and I think they were having sex in there. Okay. <laughs> is this something – okay, well, is this something that you know about? I don't think that I should be no. – I look, I, I, when I walk – I saw a naked body, and I'm not okay with it. Okay, I understand, and I'm sorry. Uh, but there's not really a lot of control we can have over what people do in the rooms that they rent. I, you have to protect me, though, from seeing naked bodies, though, don't you? Well, as long as they're in the privacy of their room, I mean, just because the windows or the curtains are open, there's not a lot I can do about that. Okay. Well, can you make them I don't stop know having what sex room. or what? Well, how do I determine no. that from the parking lot? Where Where was it? Where Where were you located? North, at? east, north, facing west, northeast. Okay. Was it south? Like, like on the south part? Okay. So, on the front of the building? Uh, like the northeast, like on the west part of it, on the south. Hello. Okay, do you know what? Okay. On what do you want? My longitude and latitude? What do you want from me here? No, no, I, I'm just trying to figure out where you were at where you. I'm saw giving you cardinal. And all. Okay, yeah, I did see naked bodies, and I don't know. I don't know what you want. Okay, like are you know, on the northeast part, like over on the west side, right? South okay. corner, on the south corner, on the south corner. South corner. Okay, so that uh, top. Top. Top floor. Mid. Top. Third floor. Third floor. Okay. 
About how many w- windows down from the end? Um, what do you think? Like four, five, six, seven, three, two, yeah. four? Yeah. So what? What? When, I don't do know. You, That's what I'm asking you because I don't know how to determine this. But I don't this. know because I can't see outside from here. Well, I'm not – okay. I don't mean to be a jerk, but you're giving me math questions, and I was never good with that stuff. Well, I'm, so, I'm just trying to figure out where the person was when you saw them naked so I can maybe figure out which room it is. And I, can ca- I, I can count stuff, but not, not all these different times that you're trying to do. It's too many times okay, for I'm counting. Just, it's too many times for counting. I can't do them all. Well, I, then I don't know how to fix the situation if I don't know which room they're in, sir. Well, I don't know how to determine. To you're all, I'd say it's some type of a math equation to figure out where they live, and I think no, that that's – No, I just need don't to Don't you – okay, or, don't – Mm. Don't you have that information like on a computer or something? I'm no, not sir. asking for it, but you should be able to look it up. I don't have that information, sir, at all. Oh, my God. You guys are fucking – you're amateur hour in there. I'm never going to stay with you guys. Well, I'm sorry about that, sir, but there's not a lot I can do with, you know, with people having their windows open. Okay. Um, what do you want me to do then? To just continue out around here for a while and see if there's anything else going on or what? No, I, I don't I, want to see any more naked bodies, but you know, if people well, are going to shine. Look in the windows. Well, I thought they shined a light down on me. It's not like I did it unprovoked. Well, I'm, I, I don't know what to tell you, sir. It turned out it was just a reflection in the glass from the uh, the light. From the sun. Right. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. I just don't know what what you want me to do. Well, I don't know what you want me to do, and I'll do it if you'll fucking tell me. I'm not trying to be a jerk either, but you, you're not giving well, me any you don't instructions need to, hey, you here. Don't need, you do not need to cuss at me, sir. Well, you're not giving, okay. me, any, you're not giving me any instructions. If you tell me what to do, I'll okay, do it. Okay, then, then stay in your room. I don't have a room. Okay, well, then what are you doing on my property? Shining a flashlight around. I thought someone shined a flashlight at me. I was trying to shine it back. No, no. You, you just need to leave the property. If you're not a, a guest here, you need to leave. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Uh-uh. I'll Not call until the police you, well, and have you removed. Well, I'll call the sheriff. Wait, who's... Lucky into by Wyndham, how can I help you? Okay, um, I'm out in the parking lot, and I had thought someone had shined, like, a flashlight down at me or something. So I was, um, I have, like, a real bright one on my phone, and I was shining it up at the window. And then when they came to the window and opened the blinds, I had seen a naked body. Oh, no. Who is it? I don't know. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Well, I got to complain about it. What the hell are they doing up there? Yeah, I don't know. That's crazy to me, but I hope you have a good rest of your night. Thank you. Oh, my God. Good evening, Extended Stay in Scarborough. Lori speaking. Hi, yeah. Um, I was the one out in the parking lot with the flashlight. Um... Yeah, a lot of these people keep like leaving their windows like open and exposed to the outside. Like all you know the the rooms, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like you can like if they shine like the flashlight like out of a window, you can see right in there. Okay. I Well, I saw a naked person. So why are you flashing your flashlight in windows? What do you mean, Dick? They didn't have them covered up or anything. Like, they have the windows just like, there's no curtains, just wide open. Anybody could just look in there. Okay, I'll check it out. I took my my flashlight, and it it just goes right in. Okay. I I can see everything. Do you understand? Like, you yeah, can I gotta really figure out what room. It, I gotta figure out what or, room. Well, it it's is. a lot of them though. But there's more than one though. I mean, a lot of them are doing it. Like, don't you warn people like, hey, like, you know, you better close your blinds because, you know, that's 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 weird. Like, you should not be like, like showing people all that stuff. I I do get it. I will I will. I don't make some th- calls. okay. Why don't wait? No, can I call them? I can go to my room and I can call them. If you know, do you know what room it is? Oh yeah, I got. I'm writing them down. I got all these rooms. I got a flashlight. I got my flashlight and my notepad. I'm I'm okay. fla- I'm going and I'm flashing my light in here. What room are you in? What do you mean? I'm not in my room right now. I'm out, you know, with my flashlight. Okay. At first, right. I thought someone was shining a flashlight at me, and then I started checking all these other rooms. 
that maybe, you know, okay, I can see I, what was going uh, on in should there. Be, they should have blackout curtains in them. Let me do some That's what I'm saying. They got, a, they got them wide open. They got them propped open. Why do they... Why are I don't they doing know why that? they do it. I don't know why they do that. Ma'am, I saw a tit. <laughs> I will I will I will go out there and see if I can call the rooms for you. I can call oh, I mean I can call them too. Can I call them too? No, you can't. Can I go knock on their door? No, you cannot knock on the, on the door. If you what? go knock on the door, they can call the cops and you'll be um escorted why? out. Why? For for knocking on the door? Correct. I didn't like no. I just knocked like, hey, you know, knock knock. Like it's just you know, I want to let you know. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's okay. See. Uh, I wouldn't do it because if they complain, I have to call the cops, and you okay, will be then, escorted out. Okay, I'm gonna have to call the sheriff on them, and then I'm gonna have to give them a call. Okay. I'm just saying, like, I don't know why they'd call the police on me like that for knocking on a door. You can't do that. It's invasion of privacy. It is a hotel. It's it's different rules for a hotel. No, it says knocking on the door. If I were to just let like, go in, can I? If I had the key and I went into the room, then you know. Yes. What if I knock on the window? I wouldn't do that. Why not? You said I can't knock on the door. Um, just can get I, me the room number and I'll take care of it. You just, well, I mean, there's a lot of them though. I mean, like I could just slip a note under the door too. Like, is that better? I'm not, yeah, I'm that's not better. touching it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'll put, I'm going to put notes under their doors. Okay. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. Thank okay. you. Bye. Okay. Thank Since I'm Florence, Mark. Hello? Hey, Mark. Uh, I am a person that's staying in your hotel. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear can you. Can you hear me? Mark. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, hey. sorry. I'm yeah, sure I hear you just fine. There. <laughs> <laughs> um, where Do you have an ice machine on every floor? We actually do not have an ice machine, unfortunately, but we do, however, have like ice trays in the freezer. Um, I know that's not the same, what the but fuck? yeah, I know, I know. That's I've been weird. telling our manager to get some ice machines here, but you would think that that would be standard, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to open up it. the air conditioning units then. You have to open up the air conditioning units. <laughs> yeah, do you think there'd be tubing in there? I was looking for some tubes. Uh, either, either half inch or three quarter inch. Um, is this a serious question? <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Either uh, one will work. I, I, I have. Uh, I, have some, uh, I wouldn't recommend I can, opening those. I have a converter adapter, so I can use either one. Yeah, gotcha. I've already opened it. I was just hoping there's a nice machine what, though. Sir, uh, what what room are you in? Bread. What room are we in? I'm not sure what room we're in. I don't think you have to tell him. I I advise you not to answer that. I don't want I don't want to get mixed up in anything. Where's it written down at? Is it on the phone? I'm I'm like on the floor right now. Tell him like taking one, the panel off like the air one, conditioner. Two, tell him one two three or something. Make something up. Uh, like oh, that. um, my roommate here says one two three is our room number. Well, actually, usually it'll it'll show on the caller ID, and I don't see it on there, so. Yeah, that's because I'm calling from my cell phone, genius. Right. Well, so you're I mean, not sure about the I tubing? I can take a look I at just, it for you, but it I, just kind of sounds like a like a prank call. That's all I'm saying. I just wanted to get some tubing, and I don't know. There's tubing either in the refrigerator or in the air conditioner, since you don't have an ice machine. Yeah, I mean, can't can't open up the, the ACs or anything like that. So. Oh no, I already have. You don't even need special tools. I just used a right. Phillips head screwdriver. All righty. Well, well, I don't know why you're saying you can. Like it's super easy. It's like any other just, appliance. You just take the panel off. You, you can't. You can't tell me what room number you're in. You can't tell me the name. So I mean, I just. I don't. I just believe it's a prank call. So. Well, I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor down here by the AC. All right. What room is it? I'll come down and we can try to solve Red. it. Red. What room is it? I don't want to have to put my pants on, man. 
Brad's not putting his pants on. Shouldn't he have that information? I don't think you need to give it to him. He should have it in a computer or something. We don't even want you to come up, sir. I'm not putting clothes back on, goddammit. <laughs> All right. Why are you well, giggling? You have, We're not... You guys have a good night, because it's a, it's a prank. I mean, it's, it's not, not a prank. Why? How would this be a prank? What's the fucking joke? What is goddamn funny yeah. about this? We need are, okay, well, if you're calling drinks. if you're calling for help, then tell me the room number and Man, the name, I and I can come tubes. help you out. I'm not trying but... to give you all my personal information. I just want tubes. Well, then how am I supposed to help you? If... Give me a fucking I mean, it's tube. all in the database. Give me a goddamn tube. A tube? Sir, we'll get the what tubes you... out of the AC. It's fine. That's I know how to get the tubes. Not... Okay, thank you. We're hoping for Alrighty, plastic, guys. but we'll settle for copper. All righty. Well, you guys have a good one. If you guys want to, you know. Just hang up. Just call, hang up. Yep. Just, shh, we'll hey. Disconnect. Shh, just, just go. Have just a good go. one. Thanks, sir. Disconnect. Hello. Thanks for calling the Extended Stay of America. Alexa Tucky, Nichols Road. This is Paula. How may I help you? Hi. Uh, do you guys have, like, the ice machines that have the tubes in them? No, sir, we do not have no ice machines on the site. How do you guys get your ice? We have uh, refrigerators, and they have uh, two ice trays in them. Oh, okay. I, I'm trying to get some tubes. Um, where, where's we a good source of some of some tubes at, at this place? For what kind of tubes? I, I, you know, tubes. For what? Normally, I take the tube. Like I take the tubes out of ice machines. Yeah. Well, if you don't have ice machines, you only have the ice trays. I want the ice machines. But I mean, what, you know, need the, what are you needing the tubes for? Oh, just tube stuff. You know, just regular tube stuff because you don't have the no, ice honey, machine. We do not have none. And there is no pump machines well, and there is no snack machines. Not a, oh, no, no. I don't want a pump machine. No, no. Not in a pump machine. That's a different I'm kind of tube. I'm just saying we have no ice machines on site. No, I know. I know. But you have like a different kind of machine. But not the pump machine, because you know, because the pump machine has the wrong. No, it's got the wrong size of tubes in it. I'm just saying, I don't have any. What kind of machine? What kind of machines you got that got tubes in them? We have none. <sighs> Ma'am, I don't. Is this because? Is this because of before? No, sir. We just don't have nothing that has tubes in them for you to use. Ma'am, I know if you don't like, like, if you don't like me and don't like my kind or it's, anything like that. It's not, it's I just, don't, what do you mean, don't like your kind? Are you I discriminating? You just, are you? I mean, I think you no, just sir, don't like No, sir, I'm me. not. I'm just telling you, we have no pop machines. We have no other kind of machines on site that no, take not tubes. A pump I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, no, I just want some tubes. You don't have I any don't other have machines. I don't have any, honey. For, oh, what kind of car do you drive? Why? Because it might know, like you know, it might have the right kind of tubes in it. It's none of your business, and you're not touching my vehicle. Because I will call the police. Well, I just want to, no, I just want to borrow the tubes for a little bit. Hang on, just a minute. Hang on. Wait, where are you going? Ah. Uh oh. Hello. Hello. Yes, can I help you? Yeah, I'm trying to get a hold of some tubes. Okay. Are do you have a room here? Yeah, well, she's telling me that you only have, like, ice trays and no ice machines. Okay, do you have a room here? Yes, but I'm trying, she said there's no ice machines. Okay, what room are you in? Do I have to tell you? If you, if you need some ice. <laughs> no, you said, but you don't have ice machines. What room are you in? Do I have to tell you? Do you, do you need some ice? Is that the issue? But you don't have ice machines. I want to... No, I see I'm trying to find tubes, and she won't ha give me the dang tubes. Okay. Well, what... But you don't have any ice machines. So what... What? Could, what could, you, but you don't have any ice machines. Okay, so if you don't have a room here, then there's no point in us talking. I don't want to tell you. Okay. Okay. So you don't have any ice machines. Okay. So where can I find some tubes? I'm just tr calling for tubes. And you're getting all weird with me, and she started yelling at me. Okay. So what room are you in? I'm not going to answer that. Okay. Well, then I guess our conversation is over. Go fuck yourself. Okay. 
Sure. Go stupid bitch. Okay. Sure. Anything else? No, because you won't answer the question. You won't help me. Okay. You won't help me, so fuck you. Okay. Hang up the phone. You won't help me, fuck you. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Hang up. He told me to go fuck myself. He told me to go fuck myself. Uh, okay. Sure. What you doing? Just sitting here being a creep listening. I'll call the police and have him come. I'll call the sheriff on your ass. Okay. Kay, uh, Caitlin, you want me to call the state police and have them come here and search this out? You want me to call the county sheriff? Is that what you need? Sure. Sure. Okay. That's fun. Okay. 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 I mean, you're going to call the police because I'm asking for the ice machine, the so that makes sense. You're okay. You're a logical person. Yeah, okay. Very. Yep. So we're going to sit and wait for him to come, and then I get to talk to him on the phone? Like, I don't I don't know what your plan is. What's your game plan here? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure that out. So, yeah, what's yeah? What's your plan? Any? I mean, you could just hang up. Right. I think that's both ways. I don't know. Actually, I can't. I'm actually, I'm actually physically unable to hang up this phone. The way this phone works, I cannot hang it up. I can set it down and walk away, but I can't hang it up. That doesn't work. I, I literally can't hang it up. That's my job, and I'm way over here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, okay. I'm going to let you all get back to your fun, and um, I'll, ha- I'll hang it up. Oh, I don't get to talk you. to the police? I, I mean, if you want to call them. I guess I'm no, I don't want to call them. So then your phone will hang up, and then you can call and talk to them, right? Oh, I thought they were going to come down there and or something, whatever the hell she was saying in the background. I don't know. Oh, I'm not about to listen to okay. you creeps until then. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Have a good night. Okay. Okay. You find your tubes. Okay. I want to Okay. 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 Thank you for calling Extended Stay America. Hurstborn, may I help you? Hey, um, I noticed that there's, like, no ice machine around. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, that's not a big deal, but they usually have, like, different, like, uh, like water hoses and, like, tubes in there. Um, is there another tube you could recommend? Um, like, for the room? I, no, I just need a tube, yeah. Um. Normally, I'd get them out of the ice machine. I like the Super yeah. 8 to have an ice machine. I'll just take the tubes. Yeah, we just have like ice trays. You said in your freezer. No, oh, no, I don't need ice. Oh no, I don't need ice. I was hoping you could recommend a tube, because normally I use the ice machine tubes, but you don't have ice machines. Uh, yeah, what not el- to my knowledge, sir. What I- else? What else? Tubes? What else is like tubes and tubing? I'm not familiar with that, sir. I don't want to tell you something that's not. I'm not well, too familiar with tubes. You know what a tube is, don't you? No, I sure don't. <laughs> like a round thing, the hollow on the inside of it, in the middle. And what does it do? It's a tube. Okay, what does it do? It's just a tube, man. In the case of the ice maker, it moves water around from from point A to, to, uh, to a different point of point B where it's colder to make it into ice ice pipes. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. A, um, like a tube, like a tube. Like a cor- a, to- uh, a tube core, something like that that transfers it. The hell are you on? No, I just want a regular tube. Honestly, any kind of tube will do. I just really need to get my hands on a tube. If you could recommend one. Uh, you can try maybe Home Depot. Do they have? Well, no, I meant like in the hotel on premises. I'm on premises, I am no, way, I way, way too high on mescaline to drive. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, not that I know if on premises, but okay. That's yeah. not uh, my spirit guide is telling me something different. That's why I'm pushing you on this one. Uh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's, I wish I could help. He's like, oh, he's he's looks so he looks so smart. He's this old Indian, like like with the I'm sorry, Native American man, mm-hmm. and he's just shaking his head at me while you're saying that you don't have tubes. He's he's giving me the no. He's saying no. Yeah, my spirit guide said no. So I think you guys do maybe have tubes down there. Do you not like have paper towels or anything? 
Uh, we have um, toilet tissue. That's, see, there you go. That's a tuber. I knew it. My spirit guy. Yeah, he's nodding now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Clear out a few of those. We need some tubes. Okay. If you like, just come on down and I'll get those for you. Um. What room are you in? He's uh, no, no, oh no. Spirit guide says no. He's shaking his head hard. He's like, no. He's doing the cut it off, like the, cut, uh, the neck, like cut it, like no, absolutely not. Cut it. He says, don't tell him. Spirit guide says no. I'm sorry. All right. He's yeah, not. He's night. not like my lawyer, but I'm going. I'm going to be following his advice for the next like 12 hours. Sure. We well, have Thank a great you. night. Thank you. I'm not going to be sleeping. Thank you. I love you. You're welcome. I'm. Thank God for you. You've been such a help. Thank God. Every You're welcome. Day. Take Thank care. God every day. Thank God every day. Thank God. Take care. Good night, Mom. State of America, how can I help you? Hello? State of America, how can I help you? Yeah, who is this? Uh, who are you looking for? I'm looking for the person at the front desk. This is the front desk. Okay, you got a name or? My name's Ramon, sir. How are you doing today? Well, there you go. Hey, Ramon, this is Fletcher. I need a tube upper. You need a what? A tube. A tube. You need a what? A tube. T-U-B-E. A tube. A tube of what? It doesn't matter. Any type of tube. I'm not asking for a specific type. Hello, you want sweet? Hey, is this front desk? Yes, sir. Okay, um, so I'm up here in my room, and I was doing a little prowling around the floors looking for an ice machine. Uh, is there an ice machine here? Yeah, it's on the first floor. It says laundry next to the door. It's in the center of the first floor. It's the only door open down there. Oh, nice. Okay, so because I'm not looking for ice. I'm looking for some tubes, um, and I imagine that some not only the some tubes, T-U-B-E-S, tubes, you know, like 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 that carry liquid. And solvents? No. <laughs> you, you've never heard of a tube before? Mm, like, uh, like toothpaste tubes. Um, and then they got those weird cigarette tubes. Yeah. And then they got those yeah. like, tubes, like that type of stuff. Yeah, like tubes. Yeah, you, you, you got it. Yeah, like a cigarette tube. Okay, yeah, we don't have those. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you got them in the ice machine. If you have an ice machine, they're they should be in there. But like, I think some people might call them pipes too. Like, like, it, it, but a pipe really isn't a tube in most cases. Tubes are typically stretchy, and you can kind of bend them. Right. A pipe's normally yeah. solid. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, the uh, it's an older ice machine too. It's like um, it makes the ice as it goes. Oh, old tubes. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some of the tubes off there because I need to borrow them. Uh, I need to take them up to my room for a little bit. Uh, do, do you think I could put like a sign on there that says like uh, ice machine out of order just for like five minutes, maybe 10? No, no, it's it's on camera. If, if the owner sees anyone messing with that, he'll call the cops. I wouldn't. Know oh, that. well, I got a ski mask. It's OK. <laughs> are the cameras like 100 percent monitored like are you constantly monitoring oh, them yeah yeah who All does that <laughs> somebody has a job You're where they just with me right no i just need tubes ma'am i just need a couple tubes yeah you can't you can't destruct our property for tubes i'm sorry well no 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 i ma'am please i would not destroy your property i would put them back after i'm done yeah, you can't take them at all. Like, it's so old, I don't think it has the type of tubes you're talking about. Like, this thing's from the 80s. No, I'm looking for old tubes. Old tubes are great. Hang on, uh, that's my boss. Call me back in a minute, okay? Okay, no, I'm not. I'm just okay. going to come down and I'm going to take the tubes. All right, see ya. I'll be down for the tubes. Tubes. Well, she did say her boss was calling her. For oh. Stone Ridge. This is uh oh, Chris. Crystal, Chris. What's up? Nothing good. Um, when I was coming through the lobby, I think my tube fell out. Your tube? Yeah. What's a tube? Tube, T U B E. A tube of what? I'm sorry. It's just a, oh, it's just a regular tube. Nothing special. Did a tube you? Of what? Did you find it? No, I'm sorry, I don't understand. 
I don't. It's not a tube of anything. It's just a tube. A tube. Yeah. I need my tube back, please. What I got two. My name is Brad. I got tube stuff. I got to do with that thing. Immediately, if possible. Okay. What's your room number, Brad? Do we do? Do I have to give that to you? Shouldn't we? Well, shouldn't. Should we? Tube. Why are we going to set a tube up? I can come down and get a tube if you tell me what kind of tube it is. I'm just trying to get my hand on some tubes. On some any, tubes. Yeah, any type of tube. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said you dropped it in the lobby. Right. Yeah. If you can't find mine, I'll take any tube, really, at this point. I just need a tube. I got some tube stuff I got to do. I'd like to get my tube back, but you seem confused by that, so I'll take any tube. I'm trying no, to be... I just want to make sure you get the right tube. Do you have my tube? I don't have your tube, but I can find a tube. Can you find my tube? No. Okay, then yeah, that's why I said any tube will do. Any tube? Any tube will do, any type of tube. Okay, and then you'll come get it? I can come get it, yeah. Okay. Um, if you can meet me on the corner of Martin Road at 11 o'clock a.m., I'll bring you a tube. What the fuck? Is, there, is this like a sexual thing for you? Because I really just want a tube. Like um, a cylinder with the middle part hollowed out. Like a tube. Mm. And you're talking about meeting off property on a street corner? Yeah, gotta be. Gotta I be don't... Place that has tubes. I don't... Is that slang for something? I, I literally want a tube. Like any tube. Hmm. Must be. What... Can I talk to your manager? I'm starting to get scared and 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 and, and I don't want to pan. Am I allowed to pan? Am I allowed to panic or am I going to get in trouble? Let me transfer you over. Uh, one moment, please. Who are you transferring me to? I'm starting to get scared. Oh, am I still there? I thought you were putting me to something or someone, or to a place or person for a moment, but then now you're clearing your throat and you're listening on speakers. What are you recording me on an iPhone? You do not have my consent. This is this is strange treatment. This is strange treatment for a guest. This is very strange. And I'll have you know I'm recording this on my end and I intend to publish it. Ma'am, why? That was weird. You ruined the moment. You ruined it. Oh no. I just wanted to tell her she's violating the Disabilities Act of 2002. She's not gonna care. Yeah, I'm outside here and uh, you gotta get this shit done already. Ma'am. I don't know who that guy is. Okay. Am I on hold or what's going on? I'm done with you. You're being stupid. Please hang up. I don't have a hang up button. Please hang up. I command you. Got tubes over here? I command you to hang up. I'm hanging up then. Good evening, front desk. Hello, this is Fletcher. Uh, Who's this? This is the front desk. This is Callie. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm trying to get some tubes, Callie. Yeah, he's getting some tubes. I'm yeah. sorry. Tubes, tubes, tubes. I'm trying to get some tubes up there. My man's getting tubes. I don't understand what you're... I'm like sorry. Like tubular I objects? Understand. I'm you sorry? Know, in, in the hotel, like tubular objects? No, sir, I do not. Like a cone, almost. I'm sorry. I, I'm not familiar with what you're referring to, sir. Cone, like a big old pipe. I don't know anything. I, I have no idea about any pipes what, here at the hotel. What do I do about the string, then? How's that coming? I'm sorry. To play? I'm not understanding, sir. Thank you. Uh, we may- Good evening. Oh. Call on the America. How can I help you? Yeah, that's all we're going to say about it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. How are you this evening? Hi. Oh, I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself, ma'am? Who do I have the pleasure of speaking to tonight? Yes, Amanda. Amanda. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm in the room. I'm a tenant here for tonight, and I'm looking for some tubes. I had some in my room, but I think they may have been mistakenly disposed of. So where do you think I could get some more tubes? Got a little project we're doing here. Okay, Uh, what room number? What, uh, what floor? Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. Don't no, I don't, I don't think I have to tell you that. I, I okay. got my man in the background here who's really hyped she about She sounds tubes. facetious. Don't, don't tell her that. Okay. 
No, hey, hey, I got this. I got this. No, I'm not sure if you can hear the guy in the background is going crazy about the tubes right now, but we, we need to get some tubes here. Um, We don't have any. Do you have a uh, that's machine? a lie. That's a lie. What tubes yeah, are I've, you? Are what what tubes are you? I guess looking for or pretty pretty much any type of tube would take at this point. You know, rubber tube, paper towel tube, inner tube. I don't think we've yeah, an inner tube would work. I think. Um, let's see what I have. I don't think I have anything. Um, Do you have an ice machine there? We tubes, don't have ice tubes. machines. We don't have. You don't ice have an machine. ice machine. Oh, no, well, they got rid of our ice machine, so they got oh, rid of they, it. Oh man, the inflation's a bitch, isn't it? Yeah, is, you think they got vacuums? Huh. Well, let me see what I have. I don't have to see if I ha- um, have. Anything. She's gonna get you in trouble. She's gonna, she's trying to get you in trouble. No, ma'am, don't get me in trouble, please. I just want a tube. It's not against the law. I'm not stealing the tube. I just want to borrow the tube, okay? Yeah, hold on one second. Let me check, see what I have. How how long? No, you, no, I'm hold. starting to get panicky. No, 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 she's no, no. no, no. Put, she's, trying to, no. she's trying to tell secrets behind your back. No, you can't no. let that happen. I will not Getting stand suspicious. for this, ma'am. Ma'am, this is very suspicious. Don't do this. Ma'am. Ma'am. Good evening. Thank you for choosing Extended Stay Mount Pleasant. You're speaking with TK. How may I assist you today? Hey, Tiki, um, I just had a question about if I'm throwing like little tiny pebbles, just like real, real, real small, uh, chucking them up at the windows, that's not going to cause damage, is it? So I'm not trying to, da- I do not, I'm not trying to cause property damage. That's the last thing I want to do. Just you said get, if you're doing what? Just the little teeny tiny pebbles, just to make the glass like ting, ting, like just to get their attention up there, just on the guests. I'm out, I'm, um, out, I'm out in the lot. And they're just real, real small. I'm not trying to break the glass. I'm not trying to cause any type of damage. Sir, don't throw nothing up at the window to get nobody's attention. If you they're just little teeny tiny. Okay, well, what do you want me to do? I- it's the same. I could trust me. I'm going to help you. Can you get a little bit closer to the telephone if you don't mind? Thank you. I may help you. Well, I just had a question because I, um, if I'm tossing like little teeny tiny, like really really small pebbles, um, up at the glass windows for the house guest rooms, that's not going to cause any damage, is it? Why would you want to throw pebbles at a window? I, it's, um, I'm trying to get the attention of the different guests and all the different windows. Why wouldn't you call their phone? I don't know anybody's number. Well, please don't throw um, rocks at my windows. Oh, I'm not not rocks, ma'am. Just little teeny tiny little ones. I'm either not, way it goes, I, don't throw anything. Ha, all right, in my time room. out, time out. How do you recommend I get their attention? I have a flashlight app on my phone, but I have to go all the way back to my car to, to get my real flashlight. Okay, I I would suggest you come inside and go knock on their room door. So just go around in the hallway and knock on all the doors. No, if you don't know who where they are, I I well, suggest okay. you come. I'm just trying to get some people's attention out in the parking lot. I thought one of the guests had shined a flashlight down or a light or something or taken a picture down at me from their window. And so I'm trying to just get everyone's attention to see what the hell is going on. I'm just trying to do my due diligence. I'm just trying to do the right thing. That's all. And I just need to get their attention. And I was tossing little pebbles up there, but I don't want to cause damage. Okay, well, don't th- don't toss any pebbles up there. If they're not trying to get your attention, then they possibly I know. I, I don't want to wake them up. I want to get their attentions and get them to come to the window. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what's going on up there. I want to know what's go- what the deal is. I want to know what's going on inside of that place. Sir, do you know the guests? M- ma'am, I don't know any of the guests, and I'm not a guest okay, myself. Okay, well, then it's not, sh- it's, it is not your duty to know what they I have know. going it's, on. I'm going the extra mile here. I want to figure out everything and all this stuff out. I want to okay, figure it out. Okay, well, if you're on my property, I will contact the police department. Well, I will contact the sheriff's off. department because that's my policy. If you're on my policy, okay, I'll well, contact the sheriff. Okay, well, then you do that, sir, but do not throw anything at the window. Well, if I, then how do I get their attention the right way? I'm willing to sir, do it the right way, but you have sir, to tell me what that is, ma'am. You have to tell me what the right way is to get their attention if the flashlight is it what do i get like a, a piece of string and whip it up there Top no you leave them alone because How they do don't I... want your they don't want you i want them though i want to get their attention i want to find okay, out well, i'm going to call the police department going... if i'm going to call the sheriff's department town. i'm going to call the sheriff for the county and, and sir, it doesn't matter sheriff police the department county. are all the same people no they are not i'm going to